All right, Joe Cook, NSUSpartans.com, here with head coach Claudio Clark, NSU baseball team. Great year uh, so far, and definitely a great year for your senior class. I mean, John Lynch and Chris Joyce, what more can you say about them? I mean, setting records left and right, and uh, also in the running for some more records. Um, uh, they both have the career hits record, uh, which was all the way back in 1983 and 86, a 25-year a uh, record held by Andrew Dixon. Um, it's been around for 25 years and then have it broken twice by teammates. I mean, that, that's pretty amazing right there. Well, it definitely uh, reflects well on the coaching staff and the players for, you know, the works that we've done both to get the players in here and to develop them. And then two young men have just simply run with it. Uh, they've taken their opportunity and they've really taken it to the max. And uh, we always talk about uh, being good as the numbers that are retired, uh, being as good as guys who have played before, being top players in the conference. These guys have done that. They, they really have uh, stepped their game up to the, to the top level and they have uh, really almost perfected their games and, and, and it's really showing and um, uh, I'm really happy for those guys to reap the rewards. And you know these guys have been here you know you know for four years and they actually been they've been on the field I mean uh, John Lynch he'll, he has the uh, 189 games played that's also a record Chris Joyce will get that uh, as well once the season's ended. The at-bats record's pretty much been shattered John Lynch was 752 and and uh, Chris Joyce was 719. The previous record was only 647. So these guys have just been healthy over these four years as well. Right. Well, like I say, it's, it's a situation where we brought those guys in. We thought they had the ability to play right away. And we certainly have rode them every single day. And uh, they've been up to the challenge. They've, they've come to us time after time after time. Uh, started injured, started well, started, you know, early season games, performed in tournaments, and they've been here for us. We, we certainly have gotten our uh, scholarship worth out of them. <laughs> and, uh, and they really have, um, you know, worked as hard as they can to be the best they can on this level. And, um, you know, it's been really rewarding careers for them, and uh, luckily it's not over yet. And, you know, not only John Lynch and Chris Joyce, but, you know, Tyquan Griffin, Brandon Harrison, and John Raspberry have also had great years. Raspberry, you know, leading the team in batting average. And Harrison and, and Tyquan also making big plays and coming through the season. You know, speak about the senior class and how you've seen them grow over the years, both as, as players and just as young men. Well, it's good that you, that you mentioned those seniors and those statistics, even though we have some good underclassmen who are doing well. You know, you want guys who you have invested time in, given it back to to carry the team eventually and those guys certainly have done that and uh, this year they've even shown the maturity to have better team chemistry and become team leaders so not only are they uh, performing on the field over this time but have become team leaders have instructed young guys and they have not been without mistake but they've certainly made improvements in their attitudes and uh, you know they're even their academics and uh, they have gotten to this level and again as we said before achieved awards and really carried us through this season in many cases. Now, how proud are you of not only this the senior class have pretty much led the way, but but of this team this year? I'm really happy. Uh, we put them up against a, a very tough schedule, and um, it's, it's no excuse for any sort of record. Uh, but I, I think that the, earn, the wins that we did get, we certainly have earned them, and we'll remember them for a long time. And and you know, in this on this level. When you, when you have a chance to play against the best teams in the, in the country, in some cases, you want to, uh, especially with this many seniors. We really want them to see how far the game has progressed and uh, test their uh, skills against the top-level teams to see, you know, really what they were as college baseball players. And I think some of these wins that they got this year, they'll remember for a lifetime. And I think it's really helped them to have a good conference season for the most part. And hopefully it'll propel us into, you know, a good conference play or a good conference tournament play. Now, how sweet it would be to send, to send these record setting seniors off with a band with the MEAT championship? Well, that's, that's, a po that's a question I posed to them. I said, you've come this far, played all this many games, hurt, in pain, you know, whatever it is, and to get this far and to let it end this way, that, that just, that would be almost a letdown. Now, obviously, somebody has to win and lose at some point, but we really want them to be prepared, focused, uh, rested, uh, practiced, whatever it is that they need to be, to perform best they can in the tournament. And uh, when they go on as seniors, we don't want them to have any regrets about these last couple of weeks. You know, I was talking to John and Chris and asked them about, you know, some of the emotions they're going to have as they come out on this field, you know, for the last couple of times. You know, as you see them, you know, cross that threshold and, and everything, what are some of the things that you're going to be thinking about um, about them and the senior class, knowing it's their last couple of games, some of the things that they're that they're going to be thinking about. Well, it's always tough as a coach to you know bring players into the program, watch them grow, and then have them leave. 
but that's a part of the business. And as, as I said before, as long as they leave here with minimal regrets, obviously we would all go back and do things better. But if they've worked as hard as they can and really feel that way, and I go off on a good note uh, with a good effort in the um, MEAC tournament and hopefully beyond, then I can live with that as long as they're happy and they're satisfied and they don't have regrets and that they're you know, ready to move on into the next chapter of their lives. Uh, it makes it a little easier for me as a coach to lose those players. Good job. All right, Coach, another great year and a great senior class you've brought in. Hopefully we'll have another one that maybe even break the yeah, records that they have set. Yes, I'm ready for you. <laughs> we, got, we got to keep going. So these guys had to move on and new ones had to come in. Let's see, see the Spartans can do that and also see if they can end the season in a bang for the seniors uh, in the MEAT tournament. For more on NSU baseball, as always, NSUSpartans.com.